Courtney welcome back to my channel and I hope you are doing so very well it has been a while my loves I understand I know I've had many a message saying that you have missed me and I just I'm so uh, loved up by those comments I still am having such a hard time juggling patreon which takes up the bulk of my free time free time my work time um, and trying to just get myself together whilst still being a mum and a wife and doing all those other things I just can't seem to spread myself thin enough um, so I thought I'd pop in and have a chat to you about my Hobonichi Ane draw pouch um, I've just done a set up video on patreon uh, so I went through how I put everything together and talked through why and what I going to put in here um, but I thought I'd just do a really quick rundown for you guys uh, so that you can have a look and sort of eye off. I've seen a lot of these videos on YouTube and I thought it'd be nice to sort of show you what I've popped into mine. I grabbed mine off the Aussie Hobonichi Facebook group because someone had purchased it and decided they didn't want it. It was brand new, hadn't been used um, and I pounced because my order hasn't arrived yet. We are waiting for ours to ship uh, and I actually bought the pocket size draw pouch and the leather as a wallet substitute or as like a wallet option um, and I've even considered even paring down journaling supplies and a journaling kit for that so you may see that video a little bit later on when our order actually arrives but I every now and then again actually go into the city for a journal meetup with my girlfriend Marissa. Um, we've been meeting up sort of semi regularly, um, a little less now because of COVID. Uh, Sydney is not in lockdown. Uh, when we go, we wear masks, we're very careful, and um, we obviously during lockdown we didn't see each other for quite a few months. Um, and so every now and again we go into the city, sit at a open air cafe, so it's very open, and chat and journal socially distanced and everything like that. Uh, so I have been taking different kits and different setups to these meetups and testing different uh, ways to take my supplies and I'm trialing this one. This one hasn't gone out into the wild just yet uh, but it's actually set up so that I can take it to our next meetup whenever that may be. Probably when our Hobonichi order arrives and I give her items to her. Um, so this is what I grabbed off the Aussie Buy Swap Cell group. It is the Arne size or the medium size in the sunlight yellow. I'm not quite sure what the actual color was called but it was just it made my heart boom. I love yellow paired with pink and I have a lot of pink things as you guys know um, and so I thought I would pick one up because I didn't put it in my original Hobonichi order even though I ummed and ahed and almost did it um, and trial it as a on-the-go journaling kit. Now there are certain things that I like to use in my journals when I go out and I love that this sits open. I didn't think it was going to but it does. It sits very flat and open and I love the accordion style. That really got me. I've watched lots of videos. It's like I said in my Patreon video watching these sorts of videos is like a it's like porn for us journal porn I love seeing how people are using these how they've got them set up there's so many different variations and I've had a blast watching everyone's type so I thought I would add my my hat into the mix because I carry some things that are similar and some things that aren't so this would be zipped obviously uh, but inside I have a plethora of things that I would use when I would go out and journal in my Hobonichi which is currently my main uh, kind of journaling at the moment. I do have a traveler's notebook as well for a little bit of like my own personal um, heart rants and things like that but my general stuff has been in my hobo so i've been I, this is actually a full size cousin but it got so fat with all the junk that i actually performed surgery on it and create a second book um, but with my order for this year, uh, for next year, I actually ordered a Evec because I've learnt my lesson. I'm sick of cutting up Hobonichi books. Uh, so let's get into it and not take a billion years. 
this has a whole heap of different sections as you can see um, it has card slots it has a zipper pouch it has lots of dividing sections there's just a plethora of little pockets and tuck away spots that makes it so versatile uh, in this side pocket I have um, some of the stickers that I like to use these ones are sort of food related so I kind of threw them in there because we normally have um, cafe uh, like either lunch or a coffee or like a snack at the cafe so I've put things in there that would be useful and um, relevant to what we're actually doing so these are some of the stickers that I got in a sticky club uh, box or an order I can't quite remember and so they're all cat themed food things so I've popped them in there um, and then what I did was I grabbed uh, some little extra pouches so this was actually a sticky bow insert that I cut in half <laughs> because I thought it would be uh, useful to have them um, sectioned so I still have a bit of organization within the pouch so this came like like this is like this and I just chopped it in half and decided to customize it to fit my needs so in here I have a plethora of little what I call sort of side supporting characters supporting papers so I have little bits of like graphic paper um, a little monster head if I choose to just little things that I can use as backgrounds for um, photographs that I can use to divide up my page so what I like to add things to my journal pages such as uh, bits of colored paper um, little bits of texture and have little add-on bits to support my my things I like to have um, I like to build a patchwork on my on my pages and generally when we go out to the cafe I have trouble trying to find all those little bits and pieces so um, I wanted to pack some things in my journal case that I know I use when I go out so that's kind of what I did I packed a few pieces not too many because I didn't want it to be too bulky um, so I've got like a little uh, memo pads post-it notes um, little pieces of um, letterpress paper from Nico Neko and just a few odds and ends that I know will work for that purpose for whatever photographs I print out and so on um, I've also got these little these are personal size like zipper pouches from Kiki K that I've had for a billion years I think this was a Valentine's Day pack and I've just put in some um, colored washi tape some stickers and little bits and pieces um, I really love this uh, meatball uh, washi tape that I get from Paper Game Co on Etsy um, and this tape is kind of like I cut them and use them as stickers and so I would generally um, I have quite a lot of their designs because I am obsessed with them and I cut down a whole heap so this one's all numbers and then these ones are like days of the week and like uh, cute little words and things so like to do list check this all that sort of thing and then I have other ones that are like color themed so I generally pack a couple of um, cut up pieces of this to add some cuteness to my page and you can see some of those in here um, and I just thought having those pre-cut and ready to sort of go would be easy for me to access um, so you can see some of the meatball tape here um, all the different this is like a pink uh, version they have like color theory ones so um, each the whole tape is all tinted that way I've got a purple one I've got um, let me grab it to show you it is a fantastic brand I found it through Tisha Moore she made me obsessed so I kind of have um, a few and every time I make an order from Paper Game Co I throw a roll of this into my order because it's around 20 US dollars a roll so it's not cheap um, and which is why I only splurge on one roll so every time I make order I always pick a different type so these are the color theory ones this is the purple this is the sepia toned one and this is the pink um, and this one is like stationary tools it's just so cute guys so cute so I like to cut a lot of these up and have them in my little pouches um, or whatever I have taken with me on that day 
but I will cut a few. This one's empty because I want to cut up a few of those tapes to pop them in there. Um, and I have like little pieces of pre-cut collage sheet elements. This is just a selfie of me, which I have every now and again in like a more Animal Crossing style. I have a couple of monsters, just things that I think will work in my journal. And it's not too much. I don't want it to bulk up. So I thought this was a great way to have access to some of my um, ephemera bits. And I've just popped those in that side pocket right there. The other side um, of the uh, Sticky Club are just washi tape sample cards. And um, they also do fit in the card slots, but I wanted to have it easy for me to just pull them all out and have them on the table. Um, Marissa and I generally su uh, share supplies, so I wanted to be able to put all my tapes in one go on the table instead of having them sort of packed in there. Um, I have the green Hobonichi stencil in one of the card slots. Um, which fits quite nicely and also the Kita washi tape cards uh, fit in the card slots as well so I have two of my favorite prints that I generally use for just adding into my pages um, I will probably alternate them as I go but they are in there there's obviously more card slots but I didn't want to bulk it up too much I wanted it to still zip as well so in the zipper compartment in here I have some um, bits and bobs so more drawing supplies so I have my watercolor brush my Escoda travel brush that I carry with me and I would probably have to find a water source but I, I couldn't find my travel watercolor brush to pop in here um, so I would probably put one of those in instead I have a black Muji pen with in 0.25 I have my pink Colorino sketching mechanical pencil. Um, I have my Mono Zero um, eraser in the sort of pen size. So I also have um, several versions of this, whether it be the, this type of eraser, but I thought having a more slimline one would work better. And then I also have a white Signo Uniball. And I think these would get changed often. These are the um, Ruchon Petite uh, markers, the brush markers that I got in a stationary selection box. They're very um, pastel. They're very beautiful. They're like a uh, water based brush marker and they just add a nice little hint of color to the page so i thought i'd take these with me instead of all the other markers that i had they're very thin they're very lightweight and they are really nice colors that i sort of gravitate towards um quite a lot so i have those in there i also have um my uh artist toolkit watercolor palette because it is so compact and thin and so that does also fit in those card slots but I've just got it popped into this little section in here um, but it does fit in here I had it in there when I was trialing all different um, variations on how I wanted it to fit uh, so I tried to distribute the weight of everything so that it wasn't too heavy on one side too bulky on one side uh, I also have trialed my um, Canon Ivy in here. It also fits quite snugly, but once I put everything else in there, this became a bit of a cumbersome thing, so I would have to take this as a separate entity, which is okay because I normally have it in when I go to my journal meetups. I generally have it inside this little Delphonics, this mini Delphonics pouch. It sits quite happily in there. And I have taken this to the meetups filled with supplies as well um, and generally just stuff some ephemera, some glue and stuff in there. So that's what I'll have to take my printer with because I always do end up printing pictures because we try and journal um, our whole page while sitting at the cafe. And I always have photos of whatever we're drinking, eating or like a picture of us together just to sort of document it. Um, I have a fit liner. This is new to me. I'm not quite sure if I like it yet, but it's a really nice cool gray and it's good for adding shadows to things. So I grabbed that. I am trialing this uh, new version of the Muji tape runner. Um, I picked this up last time I was in the city. Um, I also 
prefer the pit glue sticks um, and I was trialing different types of adhesive because obviously I use a lot of collage mediums. So any three of these would fit, but I wanted to have a more dry glue in the pouch. So I took the glue sticks out, but generally if um, I'm going into the city, one of these glue sticks would go with me. Uh, so I have the, the Muji roller tape and I'll buy another refill when I'm out there because I'm finding it glides quite nicely. Um, I have... My two Midori uh, rulers, because I am shocking at handwriting. Um, I love to uh, draw, and I'm very, very good at it. And I enjoy creating and being artistic. But when it comes to lettering, I just can't do it. And even though I've tried really hard to think of lettering as drawing, uh, my brain just and my hands don't 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 do so well and so I just generally use uh, stencils because I can't let up to save myself um, and I probably could get better if I practiced but I get frustrated very easily with my lack of skill um, these are the sign brush pens uh, these are new colors that they brought out in more vintage tones so I have the vintage pink the sort of pale blue and the brown and I like to use these for titles and lettering and just creating little um, page decorations so I have those in there um, if I decided that I was too bulky I'd probably take those out um, because they are not necessary that is something that I grabbed at the last minute I have spare film for my printer because I can never remember how many pictures are actually left on my printer so I always carry a spare pack of film uh, one of the washi cards that didn't fit in there and then the last thing in here is a little A6 Hobonichi folder that I generally carry around if it's not tucked into my actual Hobonichi cover uh, I thought that I would carry around it and it's just got some catnip stickers some little stickers and bits of ephemera that I've just been sort of toting around um, I've got little uh, cute <laughs> peanut uh peanut paper co stickers that someone gifted me i've been using there oh there's none left there were sailor moon ones on here but i've used them um but yeah and i've also got my gold star stickers that i use on everything in sight and a couple of black cat stickers because of raven but that is everything that is currently in this little pouch. Um, and I think it's got the makings of being perfect uh, because I've got watercolors if I choose to watercolor. I've got washi tape for when I want to decorate. I've got uh, papers to sort of support my uh, collaging needs. I've got a couple of markers to add color and um, sketching pencil and glue I've got pretty much everything that I would need to go on a journal date with myself or with friends um, and so that is how I have set up my little pocket Anna pouch from Hobonichi the not pocket the the Anna size draw pouch I'm sorry um, and I'm really excited to take this on the road um, and see how it goes I'm not sure when my next journal meetup will be but this is ready and raring to go um, so I think uh, if I make another video and tell you and show you how it goes and if it worked or what didn't uh, but otherwise this is pretty much it and I'm really enjoying it it's uh, uh, pretty lightweight I will say the only thing I'm worried about is how dirty it's gotten so very quickly I haven't actually done anything with it but set it up on my desk uh, the the fabric I think is gonna get filthy and I'm just trying to decide whether I'm gonna scotch guard it to try and keep it as bright and yellow as possible or whether I'm just gonna throw caution to the wind and enjoy using it and let it get absolutely filthy I'm pretty sure I could probably throw it in the washing machine in like a uh, a lingerie bag to try and keep it clean I don't know I'm not sure what do you think I should do what have others done if you own this or own something like this has yours gotten filthy uh, and do you plan on cleaning it <laughs> but that is all from me I hope you've enjoyed this quick little look into my on-the-go journal kit in the Hobonichi draw pouch in the Ane size I hope you guys have a fantastic week and I hope that it's not so long between each video and I hope to see you guys very, very soon. Thank you so much for joining me today and I hope you have a fantastic week. Bye.